A huge victory for school agricultural programs. Today, Governor Jerry Brown signed the state budget for the 2014-2015 fiscal year, and it included money for ag programs. 23 ABC's Carlos Correa reports. High school student Holly Montgomery puts in a lot of hard work and time into taking care of her prized possession. Feed her and clean her every morning. I walk her once a day. I wash her down every day and I brush her. Every year, students involved in the future farmers of America prepare to show their livestock, and through the recent approved ag incentive grant, more students will be able to learn about the ag industry. Agriculture is such a big thing here in Kern County. And so I think it's great to be a part of it. The Ag Incentive Grant serves nearly every region in California, with more than 75,000 students participating in ag education. I've learned you raise these animals for slaughter. I mean, uh, some go to the homeless sh shelter and some go to other people's, you know, tables. So for me, I know it's going to a good cause. Subcommittees voted in favor of restoring $4.1 million in funding the Ag Education Incentive Grant Program, with Assemblymember Rudy Salas and several members of the FFA testifying for weeks. Salas writes, Today's victory would not have been possible without the countless students, farmers, business owners, educators, community members, and fellow legislators who stood by FFA and fought with me to preserve ag education. Funding is now secured for the next budget cycle to invest in our students and give them the vocational skills and leadership development necessary to advance California. Programs funded by the grant allow students and teachers the technical skills needed to meet industry demands through welding, mechanics, and a variety of other vocational programs. Carlos Correa, 23 ABC. There are several FFA chapters within the 32nd Assembly District, and that includes Bakersfield, Arvin, Delano, McFarland, Shafter, and Wasco.